At Dreamforce 2020, Salesforce unveiled Workforce Engagement, a new tool that's part of its service cloud suite. Workforce Engagement is designed to help companies better manage their customer service personnel and improve the service call experience. Here to tell us the details about workforce engagement is Melissa Metross, Senior Vice President of Product Management at Salesforce. Melissa, thanks for joining me. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to talk with me. Okay, so at Dreamforce uh, 2020 this year, uh, Salesforce is announcing a new product, uh, Salesforce Service Cloud Workforce Engagement. Um, tell me, tell me what it is. So workforce engagement is a uh, new workforce planning technology that helps service leaders in the contact center ensure the right agent at the right time with the right skills is ready to deliver the best customer service. And, and how does this fit into the existing service cloud um, offering? Well, it completes our service cloud suite. So with um, with the introduction of workforce engagement, we have customer service CRM, which is where the agents live and work. And we have the all of the communication channels to communicate with customers like digital engagement, self-service, chat, chat bots, uh, voice with our new cloud-based telephony offering. We have field service for mobile agents that are out in the field to do home visits or big equipment repairs. And now with Service Cloud Workforce Engagement, we have the planning um, and um, operational aspects to create um, a, a highly functioning uh, service center. So this is really um, to help call centers, to help customer service uh, team leaders, managers, schedulers, um, plan the work day, make sure they have enough agents um, on staff at any one given time. Um, talk about how that works. Yeah, so there's a few different aspects to it. First is forecasting, and this is really about the work. What is the work coming into the contact center and projecting what that work is across all channels? Then there is capacity planning. And this is where the forecast is leveraged to um, identify the staffing needs across every channel. And it answers three questions, which is really how many agents are needed, when they are needed, and what skills they should have. And it's with this that the planner can set up the service center with the right agent at the right time and the right skills to deliver on that promise of great service. And then there's the personalized agent engagement. This is really um, where we start to uh, differentiate from workforce systems of the past. And agents really need real-time in-app employee learning so that agents can learn on the job anytime and anywhere. So by integrating Salesforce's uh, learning platform, My Trailhead, companies can quickly onboard and train agents and deliver guided learning paths directly in the agent workspace during their shift. And this is what closes the skill gaps that are needed in the contact center, but it also gives agents career development opportunities while increasing their engagement. So, so if I'm hearing you correctly, what you've got is planners, schedulers, the team leaders, managers, they're gonna be able to see a dashboard that pulls in data in real time um, and historically about what types of calls or what types of contacts uh, are coming into their customer um, service centers, uh, whether it's IM or whether it's email or whether it's phone calls, you know, however they're, they're used to um, connecting with customers. And then it, they will be able to do capacity planning to know whether they have enough agents scheduled for uh, predicted activity based on sort of past activity, um, or maybe there's even um, a big event that that happens that they might need to plan for. the The, the system can look at can can look at that and help them plan for or at least recognize that, right? Yes. So um, we're able to bring this all together on the platform, and um, it's for the modern service center that handles all of all of the different channels that customers want to communicate on today. And because it's on the platform, we can do this in real time. 
So um, we can give contact centers the agility to be able to adjust to changing trends that may occur. And we've seen a lot of those over the last year with the pandemic. And it helps prepare agents for their day of service to set them up for success. So that way they are not only um, uh, staffed appropriately, so they're not feeling rushed, they're not feeling overworked, but they're also prepared with the skills that they need to be successful in delivering that great service. And I'm assuming the system was able to ingest all different types of data from all different types of systems. So, you know, whatever ACD system that the customer, ha that the, you know, call center has set up with their agents or whatever those platforms are that they use to communicate with customers, you can pull that all into uh, work uh, workforce engagement. That's right. One of the benefits of leveraging MuleSoft is, con is to connect third-party systems. And we have a streamlined process to bring that data into um, uh, Service Cloud Workforce Engagement. And, and what about integrating, obviously, uh, with other Salesforce products and services? So if you're already using CRM solutions or if you're already using other products and services, this now can integrate with those as well, correct? That's correct. So. Um, especially with the customer 360, we're able to bring in sales data and marketing data that may impact the demand in the contact center for that complete picture. Let's go back to what you said earlier and, and talk a little bit about the agent, the benefits. So, because we're talking about the benefits to the org as a whole, we're talking about right. the benefits to team planning, and and hopefully that makes things smoother for the customer, so that they aren't having to make you know 15 different calls to five different people um, or that they can't get through to somebody. You know, I, I started my career a long time ago uh, in IT, worked the help desk. So I, I know what it's like to be on both sides of that, of that equation. And as someone who was an agent, um, you, you mentioned training. You mentioned some tools that the platform is giving, not just to the managers and the trainers and the uh, supervisors and the schedulers, but also the agent. Expand on that a little bit, how the platform is making it better um, for the agent. Yeah. So there's a couple of things that we're doing to better support the agent and help them not only deliver great service and be prepared to deliver that service, but also help them grow their careers. Uh, through uh, Salesforce's learning platform, My Trailhead, we are directly integrating that in their service cloud console. So in the agent's workspace, they can be routed training modules that are relevant to the cases they're taking, that are relevant to what's coming into the contact center. So they can continue to learn and grow while meeting the business demands that their contact center is charged with. Also, we are creating a new um, view in agent home where they have a, a complete picture of all of the skills they're developing and what the impact is of those training courses and skills on the KPIs that matter to that, that organization. And they also have control over things like their schedules and all of that other stuff that matters to them. So we are trying to empower the agent to be successful in delivering great service because that's what they ultimately want to do is help customers and we can do that while helping them grow their careers. Can you give me an example of maybe how that um, would work in real in real time? Like, what would that look like for the manager? What would that process look like for, for the agent? Yeah, so um, through the capacity planning exercise, a planner would identify what cases are coming into the contact center and where there may be a skill gap. So the supervisor can actually take that information about where there's a gap in skills, and they can actually, through omni-channel supervisor, where they have a complete picture of what their team and all the agents are doing, they can actually route relevant training modules through the system to the agent. That would then come through omni-channel routing. So right within the service console, an agent may take case after case, and then up comes their next training module. And this is really um, advantageous as well for managers to leverage, because if an agent's having a tough day and is taking a lot of difficult cases, it may be a welcome break for that agent to have a little bit of space so that they can focus on their own skill development in between tough cases. I'm really interested about what Salesforce is hearing from um, its customers about the challenges that they're facing around 
uh, customer service um, in the age of COVID. So I, I think one of the things that, that, that you and I have chatted about is that, you know, everyone's working from home, um, agents, call center agents who are accustomed, who for months have been accustomed to being in, you know, large open office, usually sort of, um, you know, uh, 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 floor plans where they can quickly sort of share information and, and talk to each other while maybe wearing a headset and being on a call to help resolve those issues. Managers are used to being able to, 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 to walk out into this kind of noisy environment sometimes and talk to people. All that's gone away, um, not just for, you know, at call centers, not just for customer service reps and agents and managers, but for all of us or a lot of us. And so that presents some unique challenges for organizations to, to be able to still provide really good customer service. What is Salesforce hearing from its customers about uh, those challenges that they're dealing with? And, and maybe tie that back to how this, um, how, how you believe this will, will help them or you incorporated that that feedback from them into workforce engagement? Yeah, so I would say the challenges are two-sided. One is on the side of customer demands. So companies are seeing a huge flood of, of customers contacting the service center. And a lot of this is because if they're, say, a retailer, their physical location may be closed or they have limited hours and uh, customers still have issues that they need to have resolved. And so they have to resolve them in some means. And that usually means contacting customer service. Um, so the numbers have increased in terms of the caseload and the demands, and they aren't consistent with how they used to be. So it's very difficult for um, service centers to be able to predict um, like they used to because COVID changed that. Um, secondly, customers continue to be able to um, customers continue to expect exceptional customer service on any channel that's most convenient to them. And so they're, they're reaching out to customer service on phone like they used to, but also chat or um, SMS or social or any of the other means that um, are convenient to them in any moment. And a lot of these patterns have become disrupted with COVID. So that's the first side of what uh, contact centers are dealing with. The other side is on their people side and their operations side. Um, so uh, we are all now living in this digital work from home world and the agents are too, as you mentioned. And um, it's the customer service agents are distributed and they're working from home, often from their kitchen tables. And they're dealing with the, the demands of balancing work and family and they may be distracted or need more flexibility. And um, service leaders used to walk the floors to have clear visibility of what was going on in the contact center, and they can't do that now. And they're using old tooling and often disconnected systems, which makes it very hard to have a clear picture from a technology perspective of what's happening in today's um, environment when everybody is distributed all over the place. Um, so it's, it's very challenging. Um, you can't turn to the person next to you anymore to ask for help. You can't raise your hand and flag down your manager. So it's really important that there are technology and tools to help support the service centers and support the leaders to plan better and support the agents to have the tools that they need to be successful in delivering that service and meet the customers where they are. And that's where service cloud workforce engagement comes in. Thank <music> you.